Hey, good evening everybody. This is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California, and I'm really pleased to announce that I'm about to give you a life-changing video and something that if you actually pay attention and understand a few of these concepts can completely change the way you think about crypto, or at least it did for me. And I've been actively involved in crypto since around, I think it was like October I started in 2023. I started DCing into Bitcoin and um, or started moving my funds into Bitcoin. And then, you know, it was I learned this, I learned that, and then I've completely restructured how I think about crypto now. And I'm gonna go over that in this video. But before I get started, I have to read you a legal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everybody, including myself, are responsible for making our own investment decisions. So if you make an investment that doesn't work out, you know, just I'm responsible and you're responsible. We're all responsible for the decisions we make. Okay, so um, I'm going to get started. Um, I'm just another YouTuber right now discovering my crypto journey and where it's going to take me. And I have a serious, you know, I'm, I'm very serious about becoming a multimillionaire in crypto by the end of 2025, hopefully, or at least by the end of the cycle. Um, anyone who wants to follow me on this journey is welcome to watch my videos, ask me questions below. The difference is I'm semi-retired and I have time to actually answer your questions. So if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments section and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to detail the three crypto narratives I'm going to be going or I'm going to be doing for myself this cycle starting in 2024 and ending in 2028 and um, I'm going to be covering what coins I have in my portfolio also so if you could just hang in here and let this uh, fat guy you know talk to you for a little while I think you're going to learn an awful lot um, it's important that I release this video so you could be aware and possibly learn from my thought process I'm constantly thinking I'm one of these guys that likes to think ahead. I like to learn new things, especially in cryptocurrency because I'm so fascinated by it. And I wanna share what I learned with you. And that's probably the main reason you should uh, stay a part of my channel because I don't try to be anyone I'm not. I don't try to compete with some of these other guys with the flashy videos or whatever. I just detail my own personal crypto journey as professional as I can. And I wanna relay the information to you guys. So I'm gonna go over three narratives that I'm gonna be practicing over the next four years. Narrative one is going to be my coin strategy and breakdown. Okay, first I start off with Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two big ones, right? I still own just over 1.5 Bitcoin and about three Ethereum. If Bitcoin does an 8x and goes to uh, 520,000 by the end of the cycle, which it could or couldn't, we don't know yet, um, and Ethereum does a fix 50x and ends up with about $150,000 per coin, these two coins alone, without any other plays I'm involved with, can, can make me a millionaire. But I'm doing much, much more than that this cycle. This is, that's just the starting point. Or, or maybe I'll be lucky and it'll make me maybe 750 grand. Who knows? Um, large and mid-cap coins. I'm going to give you all the high-end or the high-cap and mid-cap plays that I'm involved with in this video. I'm sure you've heard a lot of them before. But I, I don't have the time in this particular video to discuss these plays individually. Um, because this video is kind of an overview video and it's to catch you up to speed on what I've got going on. Okay, so the Bitcoin halving, as you guys know, is already a past. And it's and a lot what a lot of people don't know is that it could take nine to twelve months for the halving effect to create that real shock effect that it's gonna create in the supply. The supply shock that it's gonna create it might take nine to twelve months. It could be the beginning of next year before we really start seeing the effects of that. That's a long-term scenario. It could happen in three months. It could happen in six months. We don't, I don't really know. Um, but I know, you know, people have different opinions of that. And um, all I could say is, is eventually it's going to happen because it's just a law of physics. I mean, there, when there's less supply, you know, less mining going on, and the miners aren't, um, they're, they're not hoarding all their Bitcoin. I mean, they're not um, selling all, all the, they mine. They want a part of the action too. So these banks want to buy everything from them, including their prop, what they earn as profits. And, and, and a lot of these miners don't want to sell what they make in profit. They want to keep it because they want to be part of the dream, too. Um, so anyway, I, I, that's a whole different subject. But um, I'm going to be getting into all my new plays and I'm going to explain this shortly. Now, I have different I have what they call heavy, heavy allocations 
once you're 3,000 a month or more, that's by definition, my definition, uh, or what I'm doing for myself. And I have what they call standard allocations coins, which are like 2,000 or more. Oh, and I'm gonna explain why I do this real shortly. Um, I'm heavily allocated in the following coins. For heavy, I mean 3K or higher for each play, but each of the plays I'm in right now, these six top plays, they're $3,500 or more. I actually went up and, and DCA to make them a little higher. And I wanna probably try to get to 4K in these top six plays because these are what I believe are gonna be my top six coins in, during the halving process. Um, but, but if you were to ask me, well, what do you consider heavily allocated? My answer D would be $3,000. Um, so I have two longer term plays, um, that I think are going to not come to fruition by the end of this cycle, but maybe two to three cycles. And that's quant and chain link. Those are both excellent plays. And, you know, a, you, uh, a YouTuber, I'm not a YouTuber, but somebody in the comment section said they might sell their quant for ICP. And I, I said, you know, I mean, I can't give them financial advice. I can't give you financial advice. But if it was me, I would keep all the quant I own and then just slowly, you know, slowly DCA into uh, ICP because they're both great plays. So anyway, so I just wanted to, you know, cover that a little bit. Now the top six coins I have for the cycle are the following. Akash Network, which is an AI play. Optimism, which is another AI play. Synthetics Network Token, which is SNX. I'm sorry, Optimism is OP. Akash Network is AKT. Let me go over, excuse me. Oasis Network, which is has a ticker ROSE, R-O-S-E. And then you have BitTensor, which has a ticker uh, T-A-O. Now, you, uh, you can only get BitTensor on Uniswap, okay? Or at least uh, that's the only place I saw it. Um, there might be another way to get it, but I'm not aware of it. And Theta Network, which is uh, token T-H-E-T-A, you can get that on Uphold. So I have that token on Uphold. I have BitTensor um, that I acquired via MetaMask um, and bought it on Uniswap, which is very easy to buy. Um, just make sure every time you buy a token on Uniswap, you import the token so you can see it later. Um, so my priority is to DCA into a caution. The other uh, top plays I just mentioned above until they literally explode in 2025 or so. Um, that's between all the low cut plays that I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be kind of doing a mixture of those two. And I'm going to explain that shortly. I'm going to go a little lot in detail in the low cap stuff. Um, this is, I had an epiphany moment this weekend, and I'm going to go over that with you. Um, anyway, so all these coins that I'm talking about here, except for the Theta Network and BitTensor, are on Coinbase. So I try to top these. Now, these are regular allocation coins. I'm sorry. I try to top these coins off at about $2,000 each. I have more standard allocation coins. Those are what I call full plays, but not heavy plays. So that's my second category. And all my regular, regular allocated coins include Solana, S-O-L, Filecoin, F-I-L, Render, R-N-D-R, that's another AI play, uh, Pundi X, uh, I've been holding that since around 2018, and it's now called Pundi X New. That's the, you don't want to get the old token. If you do get Pundi X, get the new token. Um, Cardano, ADA. Uh, Demo, D-I-M-O, that's another AI play. Um, Origin Trail, which their ticker is T-R-A-C, that's another IA play. Internet Computer, um, which is ICP. Uh, the Graph, which is GRT, that's another AI play. Polkadot, uh, which is DOT. Numerare, which is another AI play. The ticker on that is NMR. Uh, Polygon, uh, which is Matic, M-A-T-I-C. Um, Hedera, which has a ticker H-B-A-R. Ave, which has the ticker A-A-V-A. -A -A. That's another AI play. Um, Uniswap, uh, which is the Uniswap exchange I actually own in that. And, and that, the ticker on that is UNI. And Avalanche, which is A-V-A-X. So as you can see... I have a very diversified portfolio. It's not, I'm not, I'm definitely not a Bitcoin or Ethereum maximalist, but I do believe in having good allocations of those two eventually because I used to have 2.5 Bitcoin and I had to sell some of my Bitcoin to get in some of these other plays, but I have every intention of paying that back when I can afford it. If some of these, <coughs> my portfolio exceeds what Bitcoin will do, which I'm betting it will, 
I'm going to pay that loan back because I do want my 2.5 Bitcoin when I retire. <coughs> Excuse me. So my second narrative that I'm going to when I'm doing crypto for the next four years in this cycle is I'm going to use something called the plan crypto bot. The name of the crypto bot is literally called the plan. And I'm going to go over that right now because a lot of you guys might not have heard of it. And that's why I said this video is going to be very informative because, you know, it might teach you something. And even if you don't use it, at least it never hurts to know about it, right? So the plan is an automated uh, crypto bot that, that's Coinbase friendly. It has an API that plugs into Coinbase and that's how, and you connect it with that, whatever tokens you want it to work with. Um, I'll be using this with all my heavy and regular allocated altcoins. So far, I think between the heavy and the regular allocated coins that I have, I have about 21. And these are all the top, you, you know, prospective coins, either mid cap or high cap in the AI space or just the regular crypto space. Because AI is going to be a very hot narrative in 2024, along with real world assets and some other things. Um, so basically, I've been wanting to get my hands on this uh, bot for about six months but they haven't released it to the public yet. Um, the last time I think they released it was well over a year ago. Um, I'm chomping at the bits to get this. It's owned by a guy named Dan Hollings and his team. And I really want to get my hands on this bot. Um, I'm going to talk more about it. Um, they might open the doors for people to buy this around July or maybe toward the end of this year. So I might have to wait another, I don't know, seven, eight months to be able to use this. Eventually, they're going to open it up but I might have to wait a little while. The reason allocation size is so important when using the plan crypto bot is because you need at least $1,500 in each coin for the software to do the job properly. In other words, the more money you have into a coin, the more profit the bot will make for you, but it, but it, because it takes advantage of the wiggle in the marketplace. You know, crypto, cryptocurrency is a volatile market, as you already know, and the, this bot has a way of... Um, buying low and selling high and then as it dips it ignores and then when it goes up again it buys again it just has a way to do that and it spits out little tiny profits like maybe 25 cents each 30 cents each <coughs> excuse me and puts it in usdc and then you just take your usdc and reinvest it back into the coins and keep making your stacks bigger or put it in another coin or whatever you want to do with it put it in bitcoin um so basically Every coin connects via API to the crypto bot and it makes automated profits for you day and night. Um, you can actually run up to 25 different coins using this software. Um, and and at my, right now, I, like I said, I have enough to do 21 coins and all I have to do is you know save up the money a little bit and grab four more coins and I have it maxed out at 25 and then I just keep you know making more and more money and making the coin values more and more. So their price used to be um, $3,600, but the newer version that they're going to release is AI powered and it's going to be around, it could be around $5,000. Um, I'm not sure, but that's just what I'm guessing. Um, so my business partner used to use this and this is why I know it works. Not only him, but I've read dozens of testimonials of, of people that work for the company and successful pe people that are successful with software. And, and he's been making 10% profits per month during the crypto winter. And <coughs> the reason he's not a millionaire now is because he had to pull out his crypto to survive and pay basic bills. So if you're going to ask me in the comments, well, why isn't he still using it? Well, that's the reason. He had, he, he had to take his seed capital out and pay basic bills. So he basically destroyed his whole stack. So the plan takes advantage of the natural wiggle and volatility in the crypto market. It basically buys lows and sells higher, like I mentioned before. And you get all the profits from this. It automatically deposits profits into your UD, UDSC account. When it becomes available again, I'm going to send you more information about this. I don't know if it's going to be July or the end of the year or whatever, but I'll keep you in touch. I'll, I'll make a video about it. So the narrative three is purchasing low cap coins and taking advantage of pre-sales. Okay, so the motto for narrative three in the low cap game is the earlier you get in, the better. <clears throat> It's very important to be early as possible because the price of the coin can five or 10 X within a week. So you want to make sure you're in as early as possible. I, I tried doing low caps and pre, you know, ICOs, which are initial coin offerings. I tried doing that around 2018, but I was what behind the years at the time. I didn't really know what I know now about crypto and I wasn't as patient 
and I was working full time, so I didn't really have time to really hunker down and, and, and learn it the right way. And so I wasn't really doing it right. I've been watching low cap videos and recommendations for the last two weeks from some of the top influencers that have literally made millions of dollars in this low cap game. And they don't really talk too much about how much Bitcoin or Ethereum they own. I mean, I, you know, I'm all about balance, but you know, some of these guys are pretty hardcore into the low caps. Um, so they, I had an epiphany moment when I was watching the videos because I didn't just pick up one nut good of information in one video. I did, I learned it from probably watching 30 or 40 different videos from some of these guys, you know, talking about these these types of coins. So I spent time thinking about this and tweaking my, and I decided to readjust my entire crypto strategy to, to count this as my third narrative. Um, I realized I can get involved in this part time, and I can make it an entire new income stream within crypto. In other words, stacking up on low cap gems, um, this could be the way I can make some great returns and pay back that Bitcoin I had to take out. I had to, I took some out for mentoring. My uh, I had a seventeen hundred and fifty dollar electricity bill. I had a thirteen hundred dollar car breakdown that I had to get a few parts and put it on. It adds up fast. So this is the, I'm hoping this is going to be the way I put my Bitcoin back up to two point six and, and potentially, if possible, even three Bitcoin. I'd love to have three Bitcoin. But however, all right, low cap, here's the two criteria that I have to for a low cap coin to pass my test. And, and so if I ever talk to you about low caps in the future, I want you to know what I, you know, the kind of plays you're going to get. And I'm going to go over some low caps in this video. So you don't have to worry about waiting, you know, until I early, I'm going to talk to you about the ones I'm either in or I'm going to get soon. So the first criteria is they have to be recommended by a trusted influencer, which I know a few now that, that have a lot of trust and credibility in the space. And they've made a lot of money doing this. And, and, they, and the other is they have to do deep research on the coin. This is actually part of criteria one. Um, it, it has to have a good use case scenario. For example, the next Solana or Polygon or top a real world asset or gaming token, et cetera. It has to have some sort of a real world case. I'm not saying that I wouldn't necessarily do a meme. I'm not 100% against that. And in fact, I even, I, I'm even testing one right now. I have no idea. I think it's called, gosh, if I could remember the name. I, I didn't write it down here on the outline. It, it's young something. Um, but anyways, um, I, I'll, I'll put it in the notes section at the bottom of the video. You could read about it. Um, I, I'm going to get my plays from these guys and do my own research beyond this. So I'm going to take what they give me I'm going to probably, because when I compile the list I'm going to tell you about now, I must have went through 80 to 100 videos, and I'm going to get into that soon and, and what happened. But in case they forgot to mention something, I'm going to think about, well, what did they talk about? What didn't they talk about? And then I'm going to see if I can do a little more research and address those issues they didn't talk about to refine my list even further, because it's not necessarily about the amount of plays, it's about the right place. Because we're living in a, we're in a market with a potential, um, you know, a potent, I mean, if it's maxed out, there's over 8 billion people that could be served in this market. I mean, not now, of course, but, you know, eventually. So what I'm going to do is I, I, any coin that I talk about that's a low cap coin, I'm going to break down the tech on that coin. And not just from a standpoint of how it's developed, but how to get involved as an investor. Because, you know, one of the things I notice is when I go to a lot of other YouTube videos, and I'm, I'm listening to these guys say, well, this is the name of the coin, you know, and they don't tell you where to buy it or anything. And, and I get it. You've got to do your own research and everything. But I'm going to try to tell you what they don't tell you and tell you not only where to buy it, but most of the coins that I'm going to talk about, you can either get them on Coinbase, um, Kraken, Uphold, or Uniswap. One of those four. If they're beyond that, um, I, do, I really don't want to send you... Uh, information on a coin that you can't readily purchase it if i can't teach you how to purchase it i don't really want to talk about it because i'm a man of convenience and i'm sure many of you are too you're busy you got families and everything else so the number two criteria and this is a pretty strict rule okay i want to make sure that each coin that i talk about has under 100 million market cap now if a coin has seriously good utility and the market cap say 120 million i might talk about it anyway but if a coin it's 500, 700 million. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, a lot of the profits are gone because you're, you're buying at a higher price and you're not going to X the same way as if it's under 100 million. So that's one of my strict criteria is that it's under 100 million. Um, so 
if if so as far as yeah it, i mean if it's if, if the coins you know two billion four billion i mean we pretty much missed the boat on that coin we gotta start looking for fresh new projects and in, in these low cap gems that are just starting with with the serious you know team behind them um you know money is 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 easy to lose and hard to come by and and, and i want to make sure that you know, if you invest, for example, ten thousand dollars, you're in fifty different plays. That's a whole nice little stack of, of, of businesses to keep track of and wonder which one's going to pop next. Um, so this is a world market, and there will always be new plays. So if you miss out on a coin because it's too hard to sign up for, don't have any hard feelings. Don't worry about it too much. I've ran into a few of those that that you know, just the transaction it was a Solana based in, in the transaction. Just I kept I must have hit the button 20 times and just kept saying transaction failed and, and you know don't worry about those kind of kind of things you can't you ain't gonna go and i'm not even gonna talk about a coin like that i'm gonna talk about coins that i've actually bought or i'm about to buy and i know they're available on uniswap so you're not gonna have any problems um so that's that's the re, that's what i do is i just we weed it out a little bit more than some of these other guys and, and just want to make sure it's easier for you um so there are a lot of technologically proficient people out there ready to show their stuff. I'm talking about the people that want to be part of the dev team to some of these new and upcoming projects. Um, I even spoke to an old friend today that said he wants to be on a dev team someday. He's really excited about crypto, but on the development side, you know, he's a little more technical than I am. Um, my standard allocation to a low cap project is around $200 per play. You don't have to sell the farm to get involved in these projects. I'm... One project I got a little excited about, and I this is my fault. I mean, I just screwed up, and I, I this is the first one I did. I, I FOMO'd in at around eleven hundred dollars, and I don't even know if this project's going to come to fruition or not. I don't know if it's a total scam or not. Once again, I made a mistake. I learned from it, and going forward, all my position sizes are going to be two hundred dollars from now on. And I, I'm gonna, I might make a couple million by following that rule because there's a lot of plays out there, and and there's a lot of good solid companies that aren't scams that are coming out going to come out with all kinds of stuff in the next four years trust me so all the i want to let you know that these low cap coins are, are highly speculative high, high high risk plays but i factored that in my original cost basis i kind of know that and this risk is slightly offset because i only pick you know i'm only going to look for coins that are trusted by other influencers saying good things about the project um, I'm not going to get a coin that half the people say it's complete crap, half the people say it's good. I, if, the, if the majority of people think it's a good project and, and they put their own money in it, their own skin in the game, then it's probably not a bad idea to just go with the flow and put skin in the game yourself. That's the way I look at it. Um, so if I'm really excited about a project, I, I might uh, put in a little more research or I might, but, I, but in, in almost all cases... I'm going to try to keep my position sizes consistent. Once in a while, if I'm 100,000% bullish on a project, I might stick 500 of it instead of 200. But I'm but it I'm not going to get let my emotions get involved in it. I'm going to really think about why I'm doing it. Um, and no one's perfect. You your emotions could get the best you want advice. My best advice for the low cap is don't give up on the game just because you made a mistake because that that's what everybody does i mean 90 percent of the people do that oh geez i wasted a grand i'm out of the game well you could have made millions if you stuck in the game and so it's just my, my advice is stick in the game uh so for like let's say i, I mentioned this earlier so for about ten thousand dollars you can get involved in about 50 projects at 200 dollars each and then you ride them out and see what they do over the next year or so you, you keep once a month is all it takes to keep track of them you just put all the little things in a little, you know, text file and just, you know, every month add them up and see where you're at compared to last month and see, see, see what's, see how you're growing your, your stack. So I'm going to tell you what happened last weekend. I got really excited and I was listed. I must've watched 30 or 40 different videos. And that's why one of the reasons I haven't been putting out too many videos on my own. I've been doing a lot of research too. That's one of the reasons. Plus my friend's car broke down, but I was, watching all these videos and I was all the recommendations I just put in a paper and I mean I write them down and I must have came up with close to 50 of them then I realized wait a second there's something wrong here I, I mean I'm already involved in some of the best projects on the internet that are mid to high cap so why would I want to get 40 or 50 more 
that are a billion plus. I mean, where's the profits? I mean, I might make, I might be lucky and make a 10, 20 X, but that's not really what I'm trying to do. I want a third part of my portfolio, I could say are low caps, and that's where I wanna make my money. So what I did was I went through all the coins and I got rid of all of them, but like five that were, you know, under a hundred, uh, excuse me, under a hundred million dollars. So that's my, that's my criteria for picking a low cap. And then, then I, br I, I was able to breathe a lot easier because I realized, whew, it's not gonna cost me a fortune to get in all these other ones that are basically an extension of what I'm already in anyway. They might be decent projects, but they've already ran their course. That's my, my point. So, um, I'm about to give you the list of all the low caps that are exciting to me. Um, and I'm in, I'm either in them now or I will be by the end of this next week for about $200 each. Some of these coins I haven't had a chance to go into, but I'm going to read them all off to you now. So you have your own research to do and you don't have to wait for me. Because if I waited till I got all these out, you could be waiting three weeks. And I don't want you to do that because the difference of a week could mean a 5x for a coin. Because these are low caps and they're very volatile. So... One of the things I also recommend is don't get emotionally tied to any project. Keep your allocation sizes consistent. Mine's $200. Right now, my crypto portfolio, including everything that's cold stored and what's online right now, might be like 200 grand. If I can get to double that, say 400 grand, I'm going to increase my allocation sizes for low caps to $300. And if I ever get to a million, I might go to $500 for these little low cap plays. So I'll... I'll so my risk is very minimal compared to what I have. And that's what you want to do with these. If you have nothing else going on in the world and you're broke and you only have two or $300 a month, I say take these sniper shots, you know, because you all it takes is one of them to make you 20 grand and that, that gets you involved in how, how much another, I don't know, 25 play, 30 plays. My math's not the best, but anyways, here's the low caps that I found on, on Coinbase that are under 100 million that are solid projects. Spell token, uh, S P E L L, Swift coin, S W F T C O I N, S W F T C, Arc block, A B T, Marinade, M N D E, Pangolin, P N G, Suku, S U K U, Index Cooperative, I N D E X, Aerodrome Finance, A E R O, and Maple. I think it's called Maple Finance, and it's M A P L E. Now here are all the ones on Uniswap. Singularity DAO, SDAO, Artificial Liquid Intelligence, ALI, uh, BOTO, B-O-T-T-O, uh, VELOS, <clears throat> VLX, Boston Protocol, B-O-S-O-N, uh, Across Protocol, ACX, Script Network, SCPT, Lightlink, LL, they actually have a pre-sale going on. I think it's until Tuesday morning at 3 o'clock uh, Pacific time. So if, if, if you want to check out, the, I think it's called the Forge Foundry or something like that. It's a liquidity pool. If you want to get involved in that, you have a little over a day to do that if, if you're watching this video right away. Um, Subquery, SQT, uh, Peekamoon. PIKA, that's supposed to be a really hot gaming project. Um, I, I, I just got that today. And Blender Network, B-L-E-N-D-R. Now, I always use MetaMask with, uh, I'm sorry, with um, Uniswap, and, and it works great. Um, I've learned to import tokens and, and um, learned how to, you know, take the copy, uh, I'm sorry, the token address off the coinmarketcap.com site, but just by hitting a button and it copies it to your clipboard and inserting it when you import the token for the, with the contract address, if you need it. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at that. I'm, I'm learning to get through most situations. And, and, and the one that I just joined a couple, not too long ago, it was, um, uh, uh, light link. Oh yeah. Um, it was Lightlink, yeah, it, it, it had a liquidity pool. It's the first time I've ever done that, it, it, and it wasn't too bad. I, I thought they only took wrapped wrap ETH, but I think they take regular ETH as well. Um, so honestly, I didn't really understand how to play uh, the low cap game, or I didn't really understand low cap gems until about a week ago. I mean, I knew about them, but I didn't really have a strategy. And I'm gonna go over the strategy with you really soon, and why I think it makes sense to do this. 
Um, I'm also getting much better at Uniswap. I'm learning uh, so much about it with uh, practice. Anytime I do a video on a low cap gem, I'm gonna outline the risk and rewards and let you make the final decision, okay? I wanna do a special shout out to Crypto John and Ian Bellina. Those two are teaching me about the low cap game. They're, they're, they're deep diving in, in, into certain cryptos that have the potential just for massive breakouts. And, and, and I'm learning a lot from them about this. So if you wanna get in on the low cap and pre-sale game, those are two others you should follow as well. Um, especially Ian Bellina, he does, he does amazing research on these projects and he's probably gonna make me a millionaire this cycle. Um, I really wanna get into at least 50 of them you know, within maybe a couple months or, or as soon as they're available. And, and, and just, I can't wait to report my results on them in a year. So I'm actually gonna be tracking them on a month to month basis. So I'm, I'm gonna see which ones fail, which ones explode, how it works. Here's the way I see this, okay? Say you've got 10 coins that you, you know, got into these two low cap coins for $200 a piece. That's say a $2,000 investment, right? I actually go 217 in each coin to cover gas fees and bank fees and all this other stuff to make sure I have literally 200 after the fact, but you don't have to do that. You can just go in for 200. <clears throat> but what I am gonna do, all right, let's say one, say, say three of these coins just slip off the bandwagon, they just fall off the bandwagon and you get nothing, right? And say some of these other coins get an average of 15, 20 X, you know, like five or six more. And then two of them go to, or a hundred shot or higher. One, say one of them's a 500 shot, one's a hundred shot. Your return on investment is so massive especially you got to consider two things you got to consider the use case of the coins themselves and the overall crypto market appreciation that's going to happen in the next two years you take those two things combined and these the the some of these these things are going to pop off in a serious way i'm pretty sure i am belina became a millionaire doing this so i mean I, he never showed me his part yeah you know, i mean he never showed me his actual bank account i don't think he ever will but um the point is people are getting rich doing this. And I know other people that are doing this and, and, and they seem to be very happy at be people. So just for whatever that's worth. Um, so what you wanna do is, well, anyways, this is about the end of the video. I, I think I gave you all the information I needed to. And so, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to be part of my crypto journey. And when I start talking about low caps, you're gonna be, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about if you watch this video. So I hope, I hope you learned something from this. Um, please, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you get automated uh, follow-ups. And please, from all the videos I create in the future, and um, please consider liking this video and leaving a comment. Your comments always enter, your comments always generate interesting dialogue and I'm always happy to answer all your questions. So that's about it. Uh, peace out. Until next time, have a great week. I'll be in touch soon with another video. Thank you.